Hey, my friend, what are you looking at? Hi, this sample is a bit crooked. How could this happen? This is cast by anywhere the any knot for the CNC router. The solution is very simple. Just adjust the the any knot. I got it. Let's go to the factory to operate it. CNC rotor diagonal adjustment. Step number one: prepare tools. Step number two: the spindle returns to the origin and the coordinates return to zero. Number three. Stick tape paper on the work table directly below the spindle for marking. Control the spindle to lower the tool close to the work table, and manually rotate the tool to drill a hole on the tape paper. Number four, step two hundred centimeter along the y-axis and drill a hole in the same way to make a mark. Step 120 cm along the X axis to drill a hole again. And step 200 cm along the Y axis to drill a hole. Complete the work benchmark. Number five, align the mark with the tape mirror and accurately measure the length of the two diagonals. and draw a sketch to indicate. It's usually one of the two situations that I draw in the video. This video machine is case one. Number six. In case one, the height of the right side is four millimeter and the right side gantry needs to be adjusted forward by four millimeter. Number seven, turn off the main power of the machine and move the gantry to the y-axis limit switch and make its size close to the limit switch. Number eight, loosen the screws under the gantry on the both sides. Loosen three screws, two and a half turns and loosen the last screw one turn. Number nine, remove the right limit switch and measure the length of the, uh, with a tape measure to adjust the length forward by four millimeter. Number 10. 
After adjustment, tighten the screws on both sides of the gantry and repeat step 2 to 5 to mirror again. If there is no error in the data, complete the diagonal adjustment. This video is a bit long, but don't worry, as long as you follow the video step by step, you'll solve the diagonal adjustment issue. See you next time.